story is about relationships, and I'm pretending to read it out of my book that just came out. <laughs> called Digging Up Mother, a love story. There's a chick, I, uh, a lady I used to date in the late 90s. She was out of my league. She was a uh, former child star. <laughs> but she was, uh, yeah, she was out of my league, but uh, we had nothing in common. The relationship ended where she had, she took some crazy flay. I'm going to the Cannes Film Festival. Really? Can I come? No. And I know that she has this big shot, global A-list ex-boyfriend over there that, well, I can't come, but you're, you're gonna be with that guy? And, and she came back and I said, so were you with that guy? And she goes, yeah, I saw him. And I said, did you fuck him? I just cornered her, just said it. <laughs> did you fuck him? And she said, no. But then she continued on with, but I gave him a blowjob in his car. <laughs> you get dumped like that and you wanna get revenge pussy. Like, I'm gonna go drop my dick into any vacant hole in town. <laughs> but, so I, there, there used to, I don't know if it still exists. There was a, a club called The Union down on Sunset and they did comedy. So I went down, I had a show scheduled. I show up for an eight o'clock show, but they're late. I can put this book down now, right, probably? <laughs> so I'm outside of this club. There's a group of people gathered, and uh, there's a girl alone that was probably, to this day, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. And she asked me for a cigarette, which triples the attraction. Like, a girl that hot that's not trying. Like, fuck yeah, she's not a Hollywood chick. This is an actual hot chick, and she bums a cigarette, and I start some small talk, and we carry this inside the bar when they open it, and we sit down, and she's drinking whiskey straight and matching me or better for every beer I drink. She's a whiskey or two ahead of me, and I'm, this is a fucking, this is... Perfect! And I didn't tell her that I was a comedian or that I was doing the show. We're just sitting there getting hammered and drinking and I just waited till they announced my name and then just, uh, hey, I'll be back in uh, 10 minutes. Just hold my seat. And I go up and I fucking destroyed. It was like the scene from Anchorman where he plays the jazz flute. <laughs> and I just, oh yeah, I'll go. And I fucking crushed, it was the best kill move. Came off stage, sat back down at the bar beside her like nothing happened. And we spend the night together and uh, at my apartment, I wake up to a, a non-committal but nice note with a phone number. And um, rebound pussy sometimes you cling to that with 10 times the zeal of the relationship <laughs> you're recovering from. And she became a regular at my bar. And everyone at the bar is now hitting on her now that she's a regular. And even if I did have claim to her, no one would have, she could be actively <laughs> sucking my dick at the bar while we're getting married at the same time. <laughs> And dudes would still be going, what are you doing later? <laughs> and this one guy, Lorca was his name. He was this brooding, dour drunk. He was a runny little fuck. And, and, and when he'd get drunk, he just, he was always, he looked like he was always at the edge of a fist fight. And he just, but he was always sitting with, Renee was the girl, the beautiful girl. And he, I, I noticed he's sitting with her a lot. And I, is she fucking him? But I can't ask. She's just a girl I fucked, but she's everything I need. <laughs> I need you now. I can't be alone with the fucking carnival in my head, in my bed. 
And there was a night where we ended up playing cat and mouse where they were sitting together and he'd get up to get a drink and I'd sneak in and, hey, I bought you a drink. Come over this way. Fuck that guy. Come this way. And it was a, it was a long night of drinking where I noticed Lorca was leering at me. And I think, is, is, is he trying to mad dog me? <laughs> He's just staring at me. He'd come up to my table and lean on it. Maybe he's just fucked up. But he has done nothing overtly for me to like step up to him and go, hey, you know, that uh, the, the weird look on your countenance is disconcerting. Can you stop that, sir? <laughs> I, 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 I have nothing to say, but I, I'm, I'm sad that I'm such a coward. Like, I just want the girl. So I'm still trying to figure out how I can close the deal. Or if I'm gonna have to fucking fight it, dude, I don't, I don't. <laughs> so we walk out of the bar, we take a left to go to the car, and this dude, Lorca, runs out behind us to try to cross Sunset Boulevard in a hurry, and he gets killed by a speeding car. <laughs> literally knocked him out of his shoes. <laughs> I didn't expect the story to end like that either. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>